Hi, I'm Tim McDonald, a Community Forestry Coordinator with the Kansas Forest Service. And today we're here at the John C. Pear Horticulture Center in Hayesville, Kansas. And we're going to talk about a pine that's native to the southwestern United States. It's called Southwestern White Pine, Pinus strobiformis. Well, we actually are recommending it as a windbreak plant or as a landscape accent uh, for screening and that. Uh, grows to be about 50 foot tall, about 30 foot wide. Uh, Probably the biggest specimens we have right now are probably 25, 30 foot tall. What we've seen so far is it's a drought tolerant plant. It doesn't have the needle blight diseases that you're going to find in Austrian and some of the other disease or other pines. Uh, white blister rust is the only thing you see in it in the native range, but we have not seen that around here. Uh, fairly fast growing pine, a little bit intolerant of wet soils, so you don't want to put it in wet soil, it's, and it's also intolerant of being shaded, so it needs full sun, well-drained soils, it cannot grow in a waterlogged soil or be overwatered, so kind of maybe stay away from the heavier soils. The only disclaimer I've got to give on southwestern white pine, or any pine in general, is that we can't really guarantee any pines against pine wilt. Um, we have not necessarily found it in southwestern white pine yet, we have found it in eastern white, but not southwestern white so far. Another advantage of this plant would be that it's not going to have the encroachment issues of eastern red cedar. You know, we're getting a, a, a lot of talk about that. Um, this plant will not readily reseed itself or be distributed by birds or anything like that. So that is another plus.